A video which went viral on social media in recent weeks has questioned why airplanes from NASA, the American Space Agency, have been tracked flying back and forth over the Western Cape in a kind of tight spiral pattern in recent weeks. What are they up to? What do they want with us? It was all over TikTok, people made videos and stuff like that. NASA 520, back and forth, back and forth. The plane leaves off from Cape Town and goes all the way to Oatswan. NASA was here busy, NASA, NASA. I'm Rebecca Davis, journalist for The Daily Maverick. In the comments on this video, you will see hundreds and hundreds of South Africans speculating wildly about the reasons why NASA is circling South Africa's airspace. In particular, people are very keen to link these mysterious flights to the weather and to the phenomenon of cloud seeding. This is cloud seeding. It's totally, totally cloud seeding. They really are spraying a cloud behind it, the cloud seeding. They're forcing weather conditions out of the cloud. They can also alter weather patterns with it. They bring in their stuff to us. They can also shoot frequencies along these lines that they're creating. When's this gonna end? Two things. Firstly, cloud seeding does actually exist and has been undertaken in South Africa in the past. What it basically consists of is injecting clouds with chemicals in order to induce rain, which could obviously be very helpful in conditions of drought. Although there is actually relatively little evidence to suggest that it really works. But cloud seeding has become a preoccupation of conspiracy theorists who insist that the world's governments are routinely manipulating the weather. Call it a conspiracy theory, call it whatever you want. And that brings me to the second point. The changes in weather and climate patterns across the globe in recent years have been so alarming that in a way it's completely understandable that people would rather ascribe these shifts to sinister actions on the part of shadowy authorities rather than confront the reality of our looming climate catastrophe. It's not climate change. It's, it's got nothing to do with climate change. There is some change, but it's not due to natural phenomena. But in the case of NASA flying over South Africa, let's just all have a little relax. NASA is not here for cloud seeding or for experiments on unwitting South African participants or anything else you'll read in the comment sections. Neither is it some kind of secret that NASA is here. NASA is here as part of a biodiversity monitoring survey called Bioscape, which has been several years in the making. The NASA planes are gathering data that will be combined with satellite intel and observations from the ground in order to grow our understanding of floral diversity in the Western Cape. And lots of governments are starting to invest in biodiversity monitoring to better understand and track change in biodiversity um, and what that means for, for society and nature's contributions to people. Over 150 scientists, half and half South African US with a sprinkling of others from all over the world, more than 30 institutions. Uh, the main funder is NASA. Obviously, they bring the planes and the instruments and they've funded the US teams. They can't fund South African teams, so fortunately, um, the National Research Foundation came to the party. It's a major project drawing in several US and South African universities, and it's pretty cool. Yay, science! Yes, science! We have enough real stuff to worry about. Let's take that one off our plates. So apparently, mainstream media is not happy with TikTokers asking question why NASA is in the Western Cape. 